Once again, our favorite part of the show, here in Chicago at the Central States Numismatic Society. We walked around the room and talked to the dealers to find out what cool coins they brought to show, to share with us, and with you to teach you more about numismatics. I have one of my favorite coins that uh, I've had a lot of them over the years. It's a uh, 1857 S double eagle from the SS Central America. And this particular coin is MS66. And what I like about this coin is before these, uh, these treasure coins found up or uh, discovered, these coins were almost unknown in mint state. And here's a, here's a coin that is almost as, as, as if it left the dyes. So it's a you know, sparkling, pr perfect condition. And uh, I, just, I just love the quality of it. So it's a really beautiful piece. Quick story of the Central America. It was a ship called the SS Central America. The gold had come from the California gold rush down to Panama. The, the gold went across Panama through, uh, you know, I guess, donkey trains. And then uh, the SS Central America picked it up in Panama and was on its way past Cuba up to North Carolina and got caught in a hurricane and a, a gigantic uh, uh, amount of gold sank in 8,000 feet of water, so gone forever, uh, uh, supposedly. Sometime in the late 80s, uh, a company uh, was able to get the technology up and they were able to, to actually discover these coins and uh, they had through robots and things, they, they uh, recovered these coins out of 8,000 feet of water and uh, it's, it's just like, it's like a t someone dropped off a time capsule of the, of the California Gold Rush. And th this is one of the coins that, that, that came off of that treasure. So it's, a, it's got a treasure aspect, it's got the Wild West aspect, and uh, it's just a you know, really neat piece of American history. What kind of value? This coin uh, retails for uh, around $30,000. We have uh, this coin that was manufactured at the Perth Mint in Australia. It's the very first glow-in-the-dark coin from Australia. It has a mintage of only 5,000 and it has been a phenomenal seller. So if you hold it up to the light and then you look at it, it glows in the dark. It's a win-win. It's a really cool looking coin. It features uh, the, southern, the southern sky and it's, uh, it's just really a beautiful coin. Brittany, what kind of value? It's 149 for a proof 70 and 100 if you have a proof 69. One coin in particular that I brought today was a 1776 Connell Currency. It's graded MS64 by PCGS. And what I enjoy about this coin is that there was a lot of historical things happening in 1776, the Declaration of Independence among other things. We were fighting for the birth of our nation. Uh, this particular coin is made out of pewter because we didn't have any silver to make these coins, although there are a few silver and brass examples. Um, what I really like about this coin is, on the reverse of the coin, it has the 13 original colonies linked together by a chain, and it says all of their names of the colonies, and in the middle it says, we are one, which is very, very important for what was happening at that time period. And in the front of the coin, which is funny, is it says, mind your business, which doesn't mean mind your business, what it meant was take care of your affairs and look after each other as we're you know, going to become a nation soon. So this is a very nice coin that, that I enjoy and it has a very nice historical s significance to it. What kind of value? Um, we currently have this pr coin price at $190,000. Got a platinum Canadian coin in PCGS 70 and it's the only one graded in PCGS 70. The mintage of the coin is 200 worldwide. Uh, it's actually the special of our week on ModernCoinWholesale.com. What's the theme and why was it issued? It was issued for to put the Eagle theme on a platinum coin. They actually are releasing a series of four Eagles um, coming out next week is the silver version of the same coin and there's going to be three other Eagle coins following and the entire North American mintage is shared by myself and another company. So what kind of value? Um, We've got to see when uh, the price point that the Canadian Mint will uh, let us sell it at, but it'll be, it'll be very reasonable. I do. I have a coin that's kind of interesting. It's, it's not an expensive coin, but you don't need to be expensive to be cool. And the coin I have here today is a 1901 Panama Pacific Exposition. Uh, it's a metal that was released in. It's a beautiful, it's, it's, bronze, it's a brass metal. Uh, not very expensive, less than $300, but it really uh, has a beautiful design on it and it shows North and South America. Most people associate the Pan American Exposition with the 1915 Exposition in San Francisco, but they also have one in 1901 in New York, and that's what this medal is from. What was the 
What's the point of the expositions? It's to bring about uh, relationships with North and South America. And that's primarily the, the it's a, a trade, more or less a trade convention, if you will. And what kind of value? This is uh, about $275. Uh, I brought a uh, badge from the 1913 ANA. Uh, the convention was held in Detroit, Michigan. And uh, for a badge, they took the uh, normal ribbon for the ANA and someone put on a uh, Civil War token, a Detroit Civil War store card token uh, that were issued in 1863 and uh, put them on the badge. I think there were a little over 100 uh, people at the convention. Uh, these are rare. There's probably less than five known. And uh, I've got a specimen that's a very nice one that a dealer, uh, Steve Hayden, found for me uh, in the last year. And uh, NGC made a custom holder for it. And I've been uh, sharing it with people around here and just getting very positive feedback in, on, on the piece. What kind of value? Uh, you know, it's probably 1000 to 1500 if you could find one. Um, but uh, like I said, they're scarce. I looked many years for one after uh, David Sklow told me they existed and was just lucky to find an example. It's uh, one of the first Brazilian gold coins when gold was discovered in Brazil. It's a two and a half ounce gold coin from 1724. Uncircu it's uncirculated condition. It's the second finest known specimen. Uh, this, the story on this coin, uh, it, it sold for around $40,000. Uh, a couple uh, years ago, we purchased it maybe a month ago. Uh, now we're, we're telling our clients right now to purchase coins from Brazil, Colombia, Chile, um, and countries like that because we think South America in the next 20 to 30 years is going to really uh, flourish and boom. And what we found over a lifetime of doing this, countries outside, since we have globalization, since countries outside are growing, that when the people become more affluent in those countries, they'll be wanting their greatest rarities. This coin is considered one of the rarest coins of Brazil, and it's one of the uh, a coin dated in the early 18th century. It's just going to continue to go up in value. What kind of value? Uh, currently, this coin is in the uh, $40,000 to $45,000 range.